All right, right, Mike. So you had something serious you wanted to talk about tonight. Well, I, I need to, you know, Butch Reed passed away. And, you know, for you with world class, it's fair to say, you know, he only came into world class a couple times uh, during your fandom. Uh, yeah. you, you, you really, you know, when it came to Butch Reed, you really weren't, um, you know, you didn't have a lot of experience. Uh, he was always him, right? around places, around places like Mid South, Florida, Kansas City. I, you know, I, WWF. I didn't watch him. I saw him in mag- the magazines for sure. Healthy respect. Have seen him a lot this last year in WCW. But to be honest, you're you're going to have to carry the water on this one a lot more than I can. So, well, I, I just I think of he comes in the Mid South in '83. I mean, even back then, while he was smaller than he would get uh, during his later years and like in Doom and stuff, I mean, he still, he was a brick shit house. I mean, for his time, it was like, man, this guy, he looks like somebody, you know, and he not long after he's there, he's the champion. And you know how, Doc, you always talk about Ric Flair and holding the big goal. And I'm not trying to compare, compare Reed to Flair, but you know how you like, you look at Ric Flair, you're like, that guy looks like a champion. You know what I'm talking about when he's holding that big goal? Oh, yeah. It's natural looking. Well, when Reed would hold the North American title and he'd have the sunglasses, and I can remember a promo where he's got the suit on, he looked like a champion. He not only looked like a champion, but he had great promos. Uh, the talent was undeniable. He would talk. I, I, I posted on Twitter. He would always kill me when he would say, I'm going to put these soup bones on you, boy. And I mean, soup bones talking about his fist. He just was, I, to me, was he the greatest technical wrestler of all time? Hell no, but that's not what we liked about wrestling. He was a tough son of a gun, would beat you down. His feud with, with JYD in Mid-South was great. I, I'll, I'll always remember that. You know, he they, they really did some good things there. Um it's just sad, you know, when you look at how old he was, because he wasn't that old, man. I mean, he was he was only 66, and I look at the calendar and I go, that's not many years where I'm at now. So I just had the RIP Butch Reed. Oh, another thing, Butch Reed, I, I thought about it because uh, you know, we, we talked about this on the Mid-South show that Brian and I do. Right now, he's he's uh, in the process of winning the the tag team titles with uh, Jim the Anvil Neidhart. Like a lot of people don't realize it. Jim Neidhart and Butch Reed were a tag team in Mid-South. And they were some bad son of a guns in Mid-South as a tag team. Just a phenomenal talent gone way too soon. Like you said, we're getting into the age of the time where, you know, he, him and him and Ron Simmons, spoiler alert, with Doom. Um, Doom is a badass tag team and that's two badass dudes that are in that tag team led by a woman. So I just, I had to say something, you know, he went on into WWF and whatnot, but it, that ain't, that ain't the Butch Reed that I know the Butch Reed. I know from, you know, 83 to 86 mid South wrestling. And then now in Crockett and Crockett and, or I should say Turner uh, from, you know, 88 and on, it's just, God, I see these guys pass away, and I know they were adults when I was a kid, but when you see a guy that's 66 pass away, it's it's just a reminder of your mortality, and he's gone too soon. Oh, one other thing before I forget, Doc. So, you know, him and Budrow were, were, were good friends from what I understand. Did you know that, Buddy Landell? He, he and Landell? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, and they, and they had a program um they did some things together one of these days you'll if you want to say when you find the time have to find the time i think it was 1984 when when they had their feud uh or, or him and budro were in this thing in mid-south it's i don't i don't want to spoil it for anybody who listens to the mid-south show or in need but go go watch budro and, and butch in mid-south in 84 you'll you'll love it i'll leave it at that the promos buddy's a clown read siri it's just really really good stuff so I just got a R.I.P. Butch Reed. I was a big fan of his. You know, next to Junkyard Dog and Iceman King Parsons, Butch Reed is right up there with the guys that I loved as a kid. Uh, Butch Reed, I hated um, when he was a heel. I loved him when he was a face. I, I, I was telling Silva on Twitter because Silva said something about 
you know, I said, uh, whether uh, I loved him and hated him at the same time, talking about Butch Reed. Um, but man, you know, the, the universal love that Butch Reed gets now, uh, is, it can't be denied and you, you got to recognize it, but Butch Reed, RIP, uh, hell of a talent, mid South run. Look, we're going to enjoy this doom run, right? But that mid South run, if you've got access to mid South wrestling, 83 to 86, go watch Butch Reed and mid South week by week. You'll love it. He's great. And that's, uh, that's about what I got to say about a uh, Butch Reed, man. RIP Butch gone way too damn soon. 66. Doc, we're not that far away from that, man. We gotta, we gotta really take care of ourselves, man. You know what I'm saying? I should probably stop drinking. Uh, yeah, this year, the last year has made your drinking explode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, you stop that.